The past couple of years have seen many new uses for unmanned aircraft systems, or UAS, including public safety and rescue missions, package delivery, journalism and media, agriculture, and photography. As drone operations surge, the role and importance of UAS Traffic Management, or UTM, is increasingly apparent. In this pilot program, the Virginia Tech Mid-Atlantic Aviation Partnership demonstrated its progress in testing a number of emerging UTM capabilities for Beyond Visual Line of Sight, or BV loss, operations, including remote identification, strategic deconfliction, operations in high-density airspace, public safety operations, historical queries, and new ways for the FAA to handle requests for information. The narratives that you are about to see in support of this showcase are fictionalized scenarios that take place in Blacksburg, Virginia, a small town near the Blue Ridge Mountains, home to Virginia Tech and nestled in the typically tranquil Shenandoah Valley. The last 24 hours have been difficult due to a severe storm that caused a tremendous amount of rainfall and flooding in the region. In this first episode, we will demonstrate how the town of Blacksburg addresses the aftermath of the storm using UAS for a variety of functions. Please keep in mind that names, characters, businesses, places, events, locales, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to actual persons living or dead is purely coincidental. The use case number one narrative demonstrates high density UAS operations and strategic deconfliction, what we refer to as 4D, by operators via UAS service suppliers or USS services. At 6.35 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, a severe storm clears the area and the clouds finally break. A record level of rain has fallen in the region. The town of Blacksburg, Virginia springs into action to assess the damage. The Municipal Water Department will use drones to conduct an environmental survey to monitor the river for flooding, while local public safety departments prepare to perform multi-drone search and rescue missions for missing and stranded residents. Local television and newspaper crews will use UAS to gather footage of the storm's impact on the local waterways, where flooding has caused several bridge closures. On the outskirts of town, a farmer, Joe, wants to use a fixed-wing UAS to inspect his fields for flood damage. Two recreational hobbyists, Anna and Bill, plan to fly their personal drones to capture video footage of the storm's aftermath to entertain their more than 13,000 followers on Instagram. With eight operators controlling a total of 12 drones, it's important that the pilots share their operational intent with each other using USSs before they take flight. In this case, the operations planned by the media drones overlap with the public safety missions. The operators of the public safety drones are notified of the overlap via the Eros USS, allowing them to reevaluate and potentially adjust the plan for their missions. As their operation plans are successfully deconflicted, all pilots are able to proceed with their missions. Use case one here for the UPP phase two program is really the foundation for all the other use cases. And it uh, sets the stage by building up uh, a high density UAS environment in which we have 12 or more aircraft flying simultaneously uh, and utilizing the UTM services to deconflict those operations in a 4D space, uh, meaning uh, laterally, vertically, or in time. And the operators utilize these uh, software services to plan their operations and ensure uh, that they're indeed deconflicted from other UAS. In use case one, what we're looking to explore is an airspace where there are many operators flying different types of UAS in a common area. And in a high dense environment, so where there are so many uh, drones operating, we want to make sure they're operating safely, they're aware of each other's operations, and they're able to maintain distance from each other. Another challenge that arises in a high dense environment, especially in a small space, is the 
overlapping of volumes between different operators. In UTM, what we see is uh, there's volume-based operations that occur. And with overlapping volumes, strategic deconfliction becomes a key element that we need to explore and define in order to conduct operations safely. If there were very few drones, this might not be a problem, but we all know that there's a lot of economic potential for, for UAS and, and the various businesses that intend to use them. And to have real scalability, there needs to be a solid um, air traffic control solution for UAS. And so the software, the USS softwares are utilized by all of the pilots to have knowledge of conflicts when they potentially file a flight plan that might conflict with someone else in that airspace. The UTM software, the USS's, which is a UAS service supplier. So this is the piece of software that actually connects the drone and its telemetry stream to the ground control station and then eventually to the UTM services that deconflict these various operations. We already have a pretty good solution for very short flights within visual line of sight of, of the pilot. Um, they can use their own eyes just as, as man pilots uh, use their eyes to sense and avoid. But to really enable what I, what I often refer to as 98% of the drone economy, you need to enable that beyond visual line of sight activity. To do that, you need software services and comprehensive knowledge of the UAS activity in your mission area, well beyond pilot's line of sight. This system's intended to enable those flights, enable de deconfliction uh, for those uh, long distance beyond visual line of sight.